The big game kicks off later today, and if you're still looking for something to go next level for that Super Bowl party, we have some suggestions with a little Italian flair. Joining me now, Chef Steve and Luigi Cuturaro from Trattoria da Luigi in downtown Royal Oak. Did I say that right? Bravo. Excellent. Bravo. Perfect. And we are making some tasty, easy to make bruschetta. 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 Thank We're you. We're going to make you Italian. I'm gonna, yeah. Yes, absolutely. It's, all a, it's a language and food course today. Um, mm -hmm. Talk to us about just, uh, just what bruschetta is all about and how easy it is to make for that party. Well, the bruschetta, most people can think of just the tomato bruschetta. That's probably the most popular one, but the bread itself is the vehicle for the topping. And uh, we've, we've done five, four or five here today. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how we do the tomato bruschetta, which is probably the most popular one. Yeah, very, let's do it. Very easy to make. Yeah. So you take the bread, you cut it about a half an inch thick. You can grill it or you can toast it, mm -hmm. however, however as and easiest for you. And that's what it is. is toasted bread. Toasted right? bread. So yeah, just, I'm learning a little bit here. This yeah. is so easy. I think people are intimidated. It's, it's almost too easy. Too easy. Okay. Just take and, some nice ripe tomatoes. Yeah, and uh, as far as ingredients go, we're, we're not, I mean, we're using simple ingredients here. Very simple. Yeah. Very nice, good. ripe, the best ingredients. Nice, ripe, ripe tomatoes. You got tomatoes, you got garlic, uh, some salt there. Very simple. Yeah, very good. And as, as Chef Steve is making this, Luigi, tell us about some of the other dishes here. You know, obviously you can really step your game up um, with these spreads. Let's start with the, uh, with the panini. Well, we got panini, which in Italian, panini means little bread. Right. So we got, we got them stuffed in, with uh, different meat, from, with prosciutto, with pancetta, with mortadella, with tasiago cheese. We got many different meats in there. We do have a campanelle right salad. Mm -hmm. That's a pasta salad. Campanelle means a little bell. Yeah. Uh, we got some roasted uh, um, uh, onions. Uh, we got uh, f many different kind of bruschetta. Mm -hmm. yep. Of course, how you can miss the mozzarella. Mm -hmm. This is the traditional yes. mozzarella caprese. Nothing into it. Slice the mozzarella Very with some simple, tomatoes. Very simple, pure ingredients. Um, then over there we got the ciabatta, American style. We mm -hmm. got all the meats combined. Because of the traditional Italian panini, they does, they doesn't have hey, no tomatoes, no. So that's um, the Americanized version of the panini. Um, Tricolor paper with Italian sausage, uh, Sicilian olives, and um, many different kind of pizza. And this is more than just your chip and dip at the party, for, for sure. sure. And uh, as we uh, check in with Chef Steve here, uh, talk to us about you know what it means to stay authentic when you're making Italian food. Well, I think the key is uh, to have quality ingredients. It doesn't have to be uh, complicated. When you have good ingredients, you can be simple, and, uh, and, that's, and it brings out the natural flavor of everything. Yeah, and you had a recent trip uh, to Luigi's uh, hometown here, uh, Sicily. Yes, this, Tell past, us about that. this yeah. past fall went to uh, Sicily. Yeah, working Spent vacation. Spent a couple of weeks, absolutely working vacation. Yeah. Uh, worked in a couple hotels in the San Vito del Capo, mm -hmm. and then uh, the second week uh, we're, we're in uh, Catania. Very good, very good. And as you're um, putting the bruschetta together, uh, bruschetta? Bruschetta. Bruschetta. As you're putting it together, tell us about what, what did you learn being over there? I mean, you had some aha moments there. Sure, sure. You know, I've been cooking Italian for most of my career. And, um, you know, you can be told from people that are from Italy that this is the way it's supposed to be. This is the way we do it in Italy. But until you go, you don't really know until you immerse yourself in the culture and know the reasons why they do the things they do. Um, and then... I saw many, many times looking. Oh, that's what he meant by yeah. that. So, so it was uh, it was definitely an eye opener and uh, ready to go back. And of course, given what Italian food looks like here in America, authenticity is something that people desire. They want to see. For sure. Yeah, Luigi, what do you think about uh, um, what Chef Steve learned? Uh, oh, it's, ab home? it's absolutely right. I mean. Uh, um, um, if, if you, if you want to see salt water, you go to the ocean. So, you know, the Italian cuisine evolved. I mean, the Italian cuisine is not like you used, it, it involved like anything else. Yeah. Um, and every year you got different uh, recipe, different kind of pasta. And the only way you can really see it, if you go over there and, and witness that yourself. Yeah, and real quickly, yeah. tell us where you're at in Royal Oak. I'm on the 415 South Washington in the beautiful downtown Royal Oak. In the beautiful, beautiful. downtown Royal Oak. Speaking of beautiful, I, I got to try some of this beautiful food. Should we try the bruschetta, gentlemen? Uh, 
That's uh, which one is the that one? The sun dried tomato. Sun dried tomato. Oh, my favorite. Yeah. Sun dried tomato. Thank you so much. Of course, you can get all of this, uh, all of the information, the recipe on wxyz.com. Check on the scene on seven section. Any uh, predictions for the Super Bowl, guys? Who's who's going to win? Uh, my Super Bowl actually ended uh, with the World Cup, but I think uh, uh, who's playing? <laughs> <laughs> I think just uh, say go blue and you're going to be all right. Go blue. Go blue. No, I go. Hey. No, I go with. Uh, I go with New England. Hey, w me too. With, Tom food, Brady. with food like this, everyone's a winner, right? That's right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you.